All right, let's do this thing. All right, finish my applesauce. Let's go. <laughs> my applesauce cup is empty. Y'all, y'all are in trouble. Get ready. <laughs> my snack pack's gone. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. I came here to do battle and finish this little tube of gogurt. And guess what? <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> that one sip of gogurt's done. Crumple it up in your fist and throw it away menacingly. Let's do this. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Playframe. <laughs> and welcome to Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Probably, I'm guessing, the finale. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing the finale of this here video game. It sure feels like a finale. Right? It feels like a finale. And it, it's... The overworld's playing like the finale music. Yeah. Like things are... There's heartfelt emotions. Yeah, it's very somber. You know, our characters really grew through the adventure. <laughs> yeah, we we punched and scowled and grunted and punched some more. And then we kept punching until there was no one left to punch but our friends. And then we punched our friends and now we're all yeah. out of things to punch. I don't thing. know what we're going to do. <laughs> Nothing left. <laughs> we, we punched Princess Sarah once, and that, that didn't <laughs> Just go well for that, anyone. See if we felt anything from that. Yeah. No, it didn't really work. No. It did inspire her for some reason, but... <laughs> what a game it's been, Dan. What a game. What a, what, a, what a game. What a ride. What a ride. And it feels fittingly bizarre that for this, I think, last mission, um, it's solo, so weird energy for a co-op finale, but... um. Here's the Chaos Shrine, everyone. Warriors of Calamity, the last main mission, I think. Okay. Unless I'm wrong. Oh, and now that this is fun, I can actually read a description. <laughs> Why not? Jack and the others are engulfed in a massive wave of mist released upon Astos's fall. From it, they learned that the Astos was once its auto-scrolling. Taking up the torch, Cornelia from the Malevolent, on back on the return to Cornelia, they're greeted with a terrible sight. The city is eternal house, swarming with vicious, but whatever. Start the mission. <laughs> well, Princess Sarah is dead, and her family is slain by her. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I'm ready to start. Me too. All right, here we are, everyone. And oh, look, it's cubes. What what are you going? What's your job combo going in here? Uh, I'm on Breaker Gambler, I believe. Oh, sticking with a gambler, huh? Sticking with the gambler. It was very, it was very fun. It was, it was the first class in a while where I was like, ooh, I enjoy this. This is intriguing. You know, I could since it's a whole mission or whatever. I, like, I think I'm probably going to default to Paladin Breaker as my thing but uh i am curious and i'm at cubes so why not job trees i got it unlocked and i it turns out from all of our co-op i have a just a mountain of anima shards on top of the i spent like 200 already just sort of like finishing out some of the jobs i hadn't uh, maxed out already but uh there maxed out gambler cool let's get all of these and uh, i'll try it out for a little bit see what this weirdness looks like any pro tips for the gambler as a newcomer um honestly i was just excited to unlock that uh the what was it the blackjack combo yeah yeah um on your breaker <laughs> yeah that was pretty cool um yeah there's not there's not really any tips for it it's more just like hey you can get weird buff combinations Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what weapon skills does it lean into here? So, regular sword, gun, daggers. I've never, I haven't really enjoyed daggers on anything I've tried so far. Gun's been fun weirdness. I think I'm going to stick with regular sword, though, just for mm -hmm. simplicity. Um, for now. We'll see how it goes. And do a little gear shuffle. Okay. Let's see how this weirdness feels. Welcome back to the Chaos Shrine again. We partitioned ourselves off from that vile, obsolete world. Oh. We cannot allow them to reestablish the connection from their end. That is why we need to keep monitoring the balance of light and darkness. If it looks like it will crumble, then we inject darkness to reverse the course, or reset the world if need be. Of course. If I could reset the world. We seem to be in a bad way. I'm gonna. That's not enough. I need chaos. Chaos. All the chaos there is in this cursed land. 
Jack, I'm going to read this lore real fast, if that's all right with you. <laughs> Letter to Jack. The Lufenians speak of this glorious future of theirs with reverence, but it is a future for who exactly? It's painfully obvious that any and all life in Cornelia has no place in their upcoming utopia, and in that sense, their seemingly cruel actions are completely rational, at least from the perspective of maintaining balance. And that is precisely why I must ensure that your desperate plan succeeds, Jack. All the gears have been set in motion, all the pieces set in place. Travel to the heart of the Chaos Shrine to bring it all to an end. I'll try. It's my first time being a gambler. Bats! No. Hmm. It does feel like this looks a little bit more like corrupt and different, but I have not been here in a while, so I wonder if the route's gonna be the same. Uh, it's a little, a little messed up, it looks like. A little bit. With lots of reading to do, goodness. Uh, Princess Sarah. When the harmonious balance that defines her collapses, in short, when the darkness of her crystal or her innate light undergo a sudden violent shift, a singularity that will warp the very fabric of this world will manifest. All the darkness in Cornelia will gather to her, and when it joins to her light, there will be no mutual annihilation, but a convergence leading to the birth of chaos. It is this very end that my dear friend must seek, painful though it may be for him to endure. For he needs her to fulfill this forgotten aim, and seeing her safe is the key to everything. Yeah, I'm finding this actually amusing and also 100% fitting for a game that's sort of like working off of the, ah, excuse me, working off of the Final Fantasy 1 as a template. Mm hmm That, like, I know they've been, like, uh, dishing out lore here and there as we go in small little snippets and things. If you're looking for it, load screens that we've not really been able to stop and read. But it does feel very fitting that this game is like kind of packing a lot of lore and exposition into the very end and the final minutes really quick as fast as it can sort of like the end credits of Final Fantasy 1 that are just really desperately trying to explain yeah <laughs> the lore of everything that was going on it feels right actually for this I have no idea what path they want me to go because there's like three open pathways so I'm just gonna keep going down this one I guess Perfect. You're probably a bit ahead of me. I'll see if I can catch up. I found I've, I found my my third lorb. Ooh. All right. Then yeah. It's in the uh, if you climb that ladder, there's a lorb up there. Noted. Okay. Let's take care of you. Is it me or do I have infinite? Uh, I do. Yeah. We're like supercharged. We're we have like infinite parry. Yeah, stagger meter right now. That's nice. Yeah, we're all we're all corrupted. I appreciate that very much. So if I were to gamble, let's say. Nope. 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 Hang on. <laughs> Busting a whole lot on these roulette spins. Not really working for me. No? Not, you're, not, you're not, not getting the good gambles? Not yet. But barrage. I just activated a uh, lunatic three times in a row with my gamble, so I, I must I think that's good. Gracious. That seems good. Well, there are a lot of open paths. Hmm. Oh, I found one of those big, the the big red shinies that are so satisfying to pick up. Ooh. Didn't poke my head out here yet.
Surprise. Ha. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't some... I could probably set this on fire if I wanted, but... Just wanted to make sure there wasn't some hidden lorb. Mm -hmm. That third one that you'd spotted. But no, you did mention the ladder. Where, where am I? What am I doing? Okay, that, that path looped around. Got it. I found... I closed one pathway. Hooray! <laughs> Huzzah. Ooh, Venom. Yeah, the gambling ability is kind of fun. It's fu kind of fun just having random little bonuses and things. <laughs> yeah. That just might kick in. Why not? Messing him up. Just shredding them. Boy. Feels good. Where's that ladder? I can't tell if, um... I'm, like, actually... doing good, or we're just <laughs> that buffed? Or what? I feel like we must be that buffed, because I'm also doing good, and... historically... It sounds like when we go solo, uh, I do not do as good as you do, <laughs> generally. I think I've been buffed considerably. Yeah, I think I think I think something is just like everything's automatically crystal finishing, it feels like. Yeah. I mean I'm I'll take it, I'm grateful. This world is Lufenia's playground, a laboratory for them to conduct their experiments in light and dark, with every living thing their lab animal. Jack was understandably filled with unspeakable fury when he learned this truth. He is a pure sort, and it is this very innocence that pushes him to rebel against his masters now, no matter how futile that struggle may be. Perhaps this aspect of his personality, too, was implanted in him by the Lufenians, but I choose to believe otherwise. Heart is what defines my Jack, and I'll put my faith in that. It was Jack who authored our ploy, and even if he forgets it, even if he forgets me, I will gladly risk life and limb to set him on the right path. We will sever our world from its unjust fate and set it spiraling into a chaotic void where it can finally be master of its own destiny. That is the least I can do to thank him and the others for accepting me as one of their own. Starting to get an idea who this fool might be. Mmm. Can't run oh. from me. I fell off the cliff. <laughs> oh no. A little monster appeared behind me. I'm like, I better go get him. And Jack did just walk <laughs> off the cliff. Oh, the monster did the same. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Peer pressure. Monkey see, skeleton do. Look how strong this guy is. If this guy's doing it, he must know. Well, he must have a good reason. Look how strong and angry he looks. Yeah. Hey, you wouldn't just, you know, accidentally do a wrong input for no reason. No, a guy that strong and grumpy? Never. Okay, okay, another lorb. Ooh. Yeah, you're definitely well ahead of me. What? Skeletons. Okay, yeah, I found I found cubes. Oh, you found cubes. All right. I'll hang I'll hang by cubes for you. Oh, I appreciate it. I'll be there shortly. I can see with them in the distance. Get out of here. Funny, all the stuff I'm leveling is just like stuff that I happen to have a little bit of affinity for. Yeah. In my gear. <laughs> Because everything else is already already maxed out on uh, Breaker and Gambler. Yeah. There's the Lorp. Okay, let's see. 
All uh, right. Within the heart of the singularity, he will be reborn. But to be merely reborn is not enough. He must accept the chaotic darkness of the singularity into his very soul. Following a similar principle to how the fiends manifest, it is emotion and despair merging that converts the gloom born from a singularity into true darkness. From this, it should be evident that darkness will follow him wherever he goes, drawn ever to the gravitational well of his momentous despair. It is the darkness injected into this world and the darkness born and bred here that will guide him to the inevitable conclusion of our ploy. All that is left is for him to use the warp device I prepared to send himself and all his accompanying shadows to that pocket dimension of theirs. Our plan will end in failure if we cannot seize the power to reset the world from them. Isn't that right, Jack? Almost. Jack. Two cubes. Leon. Sophia. You were guiding me, weren't you? It's setting me up. To become chaos. There's cubes. Okay, got there. I've arrived. All right. Even got a level here. Might as well for old time's sake. Yeah, grab a little level. Why not? Why not, right? At least I think I did. Well, maybe not what I can spend. Doesn't matter. Got new gear, I bet. Do another quick little shuffle. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got a new axe. Did I? Right. I did. Let's break something. Still works. Although honestly, in this hyper-powered state, the sword is doing almost as good. <laughs> I think that's probably what's giving it away the most to me that, yeah, we're definitely uh, in turbo mode right now. Yeah, I did. Uh, I have um, Katana on my gambler and it, it's um, what is it? Abil it's ability. It's like the Uka. Yeah. O-U-K-A. It's doing this like huge blast. I'm like, I don't remember that. Whoa. That seems new. <laughs> Nifty. Sounds good. Lufenians don't deserve a future. I'll use their power against them. And the power they fear the most. I'll tear it all down. Everything they hold dear. Only then will I end this ridiculous farce. Poke my head in the rooms real fast. Make sure there's not an orb just sitting there. But I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Nah. Okay. Into the main room. To the boss room. Who are we going to find in there? Predictions. Will it be nobody? Hmm. Will it just be us? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's just us. Oh, a letter to Jack. Far, far away lies a place that can only be considered another dimension. Here, the Lufenians constructed what they call stations to serve their needs. Stations are like homes to the strangers, and in a sense, like a second home to me. From the various stations, the Lufenians monitor and control the very fate of the world. With cold rationality, they fine-tune the balance of light and dark, and even wield the power to reset existence, if deemed necessary. A long time ago, you told me you wished to completely sever our world from the Lufinians and wrest the power to reset the world from their grip. To this end, you hatched a plot and spoke at great length to me of my role within it. But enough history. This message is likely my final piece of guidance to you before you warp to Lufenia, Jack. Become chaos. Free us from the shackles of our would-be gods. Nobody or a Lufinian. Maybe the one we've been talking to in the Sinatrascape. Hmm... Maybe it's Frank. Sinatra himself. He has a special move called Croon. Insta-kill if you're not ready. <laughs> All right, I'm up at the door. Do we go in? His combos come fly with me and he like lifts you and slams you in. <laughs> it won't happen, but a part of me wishes. <laughs> All right, in the door we go. Warning. Chaos infection. Warning. Chaos infection. Extraction denied. Extraction denied. Initiate immediate memory erasure and pacification. Screw you. Screw you all! 
Warning. Chaos infection. Warning. Chaos infection. What if as we got into a final boss fight, they just dropped like a new metal cover of the way you look tonight? Amazing. I'd be speechless. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Decompression in station 19. Positive ID. Senior Agent Jack Garland. He's completely corrupted. But this wasn't in Astos's report. He's a traitor. That's why. Contagion confirmed. Report! Unknown. Suspected metaphysical anomaly. Corruption spreading. If this continues, he'll reestablish our link to the old world. Then we have no choice. Reset it. I see no other option. Activating dimensional crystal matrix. Preparing to initiate world reboot. Agent Jack Garland, can you hear me? Clear as day. The station you're in is infected. We're going to reinitialize it along with the old world. We've got no other choice. <laughs> Who do you think you are? He's unintelligible. Likely due to chaos corruption. Jack, acknowledge. Who the fuck do you think you are? Dimensional crystal matrix ready. Standing by. Do it. Activating. You arrogant bastards. Wanna play God? I won't let you. I'll rip that power from your hands and make it my own. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, I've made a crystal dome. It's mine now. I live here. Um. No, maybe I'll break things. I'm breaking all your things. I'm breaking stuff, Dan. I'm breaking stuff. The crystals aren't putting out much of a fight. Yeah, yeah. they don't really do much. Seath was on holiday. <laughs> Right, the big one now? No. Oh, are there more small ones? My, I had like a very hidden pop up for the crystal break thing. I don't, I don't know if you was. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just to get really close. Now I see it. Yeah. This is Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it's, it's been pretty Kingdom Hearts, a lot of the time. I don't know why this. Well, this scene just started, and I'm like, this feels like Kingdom Hearts. It sure does. This is Destiny Islands right now. For chaos! <laughs> now I'll swallow you all, and even those damn fiends will kneel to me as their lord! I know who you are. I am Darkness Manifest, the sum of the world's fears. You stand before despair given form. You stand before chaos. Shut up. The mantle of chaos is mine. I claim your darkness as my own. from what you see. This one, I'm guessing, will not be quite the pushover. 
Maybe not. Maybe not as much as a crystal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crystal was a little easier, probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Damn. No! Shut up, asshole! Stand back and witness the birth of chaos! Then watch as Yeah, I like these four arms being like the four elements. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I'm doing a lot of yelling right now. <laughs> There's a lot of yelling. That's all that's really happening. Mine. Nope. Okay, well that was that was that was not fun. <laughs> I did get comboed immediately. Oh dear. I was trying to Yeah, I also got defeated. I was doing pretty good for a bit there, but um let it get a little out of control. Let's try it again. Oh, another orb. Well usually these are just like tips. Uh be wary when you see it ready to cast spells right okay I'm ready. Yeah, i did i did take care of phase one pretty nice and quickly but he did immediately combo me in phase two and i was like oh i'm dead oh dear well, i haven't gotten to phase two yet so uh we'll see how that goes Stand back and witness the birth of chaos. Then watch as your plans turn to dust. <laughs> Got a little greedy there. Oh no, that's a lot of spells. A lot of spells. Oof. The greed. Too much greed. <laughs> All right, all right. I'll actually play. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's he's a little spicy. All right. Well, good to know we've got something to uh, keep us busy today. Yeah. No. Shut up, asshole. Stand back and witness the birth of chaos. And watch as your plans turn to dust. <laughs> Slash. Ow. Yeah, I can't be too greedy with my big axe hits because he didn't leave a lot of those openings. Yeah. Does not leave a lot of openings. I might get back to my uh, paladin stuff a little bit. All right, well, at least we're getting to phase two. We can see what happens in there. I think I think I got him, maybe? Hey, nice! It's probably gonna take me a good while longer. <laughs> this is okay. Okay. <laughs> Look out! Okay, yeah. Bad. 
spot to be in. Yeah, all right. Gambler is not going to be the other job I uh, use going into this. Let's switch to something that might help me a little bit more support-wise. Let's see. Hmm. Breaker good, but second option... Paladin's interesting. Could try that. Knight might also be inter. You know what? I might try Knight, actually. Being able to just block through a whole lot of nonsense. Have him deal damage to himself every time he hits me with something. Yeah. I like that. Let's try that. So, you do have to actually hit me, bud. There you go. Mine. Neil. Hey. Can't be. No. Is this the same one or is this a new little orb that popped up? Oh, just another little thing of oh a, a tip for the second phase. Uh rip, 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 rip. not really tips so much as like, hey, good luck out there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh boy. Explain yourself, Jack. No! Shut up, asshole! Stand back and witness the birth of chaos! Look out! Nah! You have to actually get good with fundamentals. Or just hit really hard with the axe, which. I just hit really hard. It is what got me furthest right. so far. You have water and fire. Explain yourself, Jack. Look out. No! Shut up, asshole. Stand back and witness the birth of chaos. And watch you missed. Your plans turn to dust. Okay, I do have it did load to a scene, and there is a proceed button, so I'm just gonna hang here. Okay, and yeah. Wait. Don't me. Any uh, don't recommendations? Um, I, so in phase two, I kind of just played keep away and, and wasn't even really going for R2s unless he was like after a big combo. Cause, okay. Cause if he got a few hits on me, I was dead. Like devastating. So, all right. Good to know. Doing, doing just some quick R1s back up and then blocking as many of the big attacks or absorbing as many of them as I could. Noted. All right. Alrighty. Because phase one kind of like... I I don't know if he just wasn't using good attacks on me, but it was like doing not much of anything to me. And then phase two was just like, let me delete your health. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more absorbable abilities, it seems like, in phase one. Mm -hmm. And he is using a much wider range of attacks now. Woohoo! I did do my gamble on him, and I got two flares in a row to start the fight, Whoa. which was a, a pretty satisfying start to the fight. That kind of rules. Oh, can't use Lightbringer, can I? No, I can't. Not allowed this time. Yee Look at all your abilities you have. You're not the warrior of light, you're the warrior of darkness. Bow, 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 bow. That's the Shadowbringers theme. <laughs> I shouldn't have stayed there. I got, I almost got him down, but I was getting real greedy standing in a place I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah. 
it's hard not getting greedy in this game. Yeah, it's real hard not to. The, the axe hits feel good is the thing. They do. But I did get him pretty close, so I think so I'll just take a few tries. Ow. Yeah. I also just have to not do a garbage job blocking. Yeah. I do actually like how fast just the retry speed goes, though. Like, you can get back in that fight so fast. Yeah. That's quite nice. That is very nice. <laughs> Amateur. Dang it. Yeah! This attempt is not going quite as well. That means it's going well, because the, the winning attempt is always... You, you think it's going terrible, and you're like, all right, this is not the one. And then it's the one. <laughs> Isn't that, like, always the way? Anytime you're watching some VOD of the world record best for any given game, it always starts in the first five minutes with the runner going, yeah, it was like, well, that's bad luck. So much for yeah. this run. <laughs> Crash run. And then they go ahead and, like, get unheard of time save. Yep. Yeah, tsunami. Yeah, just just blocked that one. I am not winning this one. An eternity of despair will do that to you. Hmm. I feel like my dash doesn't give me as many iframes as I would expect from it. I think I'm just too used to, like, Souls rules on that front. Yeah. Need to not count on having those. Is there another job that I would want as a backup more? I guess being able to get, like, a cure or some other buff could be interesting. As long as I'm dabbling. Mm-hmm. Sorry you're stuck waiting there for a while. No, you're good. <laughs> I, I, I got lucky. <laughs> that you got lucky is disconcerting well like the thing was uh, i think it i think it was probably the the two flares popping because i when it when he staggered it was just like it was just like a little r1 and i was like oh he staggered like i was i was not expecting him to be finishable when i did get it Because I did not feel like I was getting big hits or anything in. Hmm. does just kind of sneak up on you sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Time for a change. Let's try this. If I have, like, White Mage going in there. If I can manage to get a spell going. Mine. Display this object. No! Shut up, asshole! Stand back and witness the birth of chaos. Then watch as your plans turn to dust. Now. Can't be. I can hear Jack yelling. <laughs> you know, just hear him. He's yelling loud enough. You can hear him through the TV. Yep. <laughs> just, just barely coming through. That rage will not be contained. It's too mad. Explain yourself, Jack. No! Shut up, asshole! Stand back and witness the birth of chaos. And watch as your plans turn to dust. Look, rage, and 
can don't misunderstand me. You're going to die. The darkness inside me will swallow you whole. Yours, you have it. Now, oh, come on. No, you. All right, that worked pretty good. There's one phase down. Nice. from all the ruin. Nope. Yep. Stay away from that, too. Yep, that one's dangerous. Get away. <laughs> what if they're all dangerous? They're all pretty dangerous. They are pretty dangerous. Ow. Come on, man. we go okay spicy nice to isolate and detach Station 19. Control is to be transferred to the next station. Agent Garland, you are hereby discharged. Goodbye, Jack. Lufenia thanks you for your service. You give Central a message of resignation for me. You'll never cast off your shackles to the old world. Not as long as you continue to flush your darkness into Cornelia. So I'll bide my time. Gather my strength, and use that link to return someday. Mark my words, I'll be back to wipe all of you from existence. I'll burn your precious Lufenia to the ground! That is absurd. You saw the power I now wield. Chaos, unpredictable, uncontrollable, while our technology advances by the day. While well, you're down there, Jack, do remember to keep an eye out for the Warriors of Light. Balance is everything. Champions will arise one day to bring you low. What the hell do you know about Cornelia? Here's a tip. There's no such thing as the Warriors of Light. They're just empty hopes. False dreams. Childish fantasy. Oh. <laughs> Who knows more 
about what makes a warrior of light than us. I get it now. <laughs> hey, boss. Don't bother sending any more strangers. <laughs> what are you talking about? What's so funny? <laughs> Answer us! Not a chance! just got back from American Eagle. Oh. The reset was successful. This was all part of our plan. Wasn't it, Ash? Sorry, Jed. It was never a mercy to forget. You were right. Oh, you can't open the side door. Listened. Neon. Sorry to get you mixed up in all of this. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. Sophia, this is our world now. I won't let those bastards use it as their plaything. Those of you who love Cornelia, never give up hope. The warriors of light will come one day. What a walk cycle. <laughs> slow walking. A lot of slow walking. Welcome home. Hmm. Don't you think it's a little dark in here? We're storing it all here for now. It's still about 2,000 years before the reign of our friend, the King. <laughs> we wove the threads of darkness to pull you back through time. Rufenia's tentacles can't reach us here. <laughs> You're in a good mood. I've got a fun plan. Do tell. We'll train the Warriors of Light ourselves. Interesting. How? The Warriors of Light will be born in Cornelia. Just like you were, Neon. Of course. They're Cornelia's hope, after all. Makes sense they'd be from there. Hope. Despair. Lufenia won't dictate these terms to anyone anymore. I've been wondering... When did you all start scheming to turn me into chaos? He's good. Better than good. Only Jack can fight like that. Glad to see he's back. <laughs> Took long enough. What? Our memories are fragmented and complete. But then we started putting all the pieces together. It was touch and go there for a while. We'd have never figured it out without those hints Astos gave us. Well, there were some unplanned sacrifices. And yet we pulled it off. Kudos to the brilliant mastermind behind it all. Mastermind? Astos, I want you to be my accomplice. With your help, we may be able to change things next time. Be safe, Jack. 
May the crystal's blessing be with you, always. Sarah, I... I'd like you to have this. But... This is very special to you. You've never even let me touch it before. A friend gave me some advice once. He said, you've got to be crazy if you want to change the world. And is that what this is? Crazy? Perhaps, but it's only the beginning. Then what happens next? Hmm, let's see. How about I spirit you away to my dark castle? <laughs> Father will send his armies. Oh, I won't stand a chance. But the Lord of Chaos might. Maybe I should change jobs. <laughs> then the Warriors of Light will come. <laughs> They're welcome too. Too secretive to reveal and veiled by shadow and risk recording. Wait that fateful day when the warriors of light arise. Although their glow may be faint at first, even a sputtering candle is brilliant against the black of night. And so. We will plunge this world into the depths of darkness. Baby, it's true. <laughs> and again, uh, if Whatever music you're hearing right now, I assure you is not what I am hearing, which is to say the same thing we heard in episode one. A very content ideable Frank Sinatra song. <laughs> well, a story sure has happened at us. We reached it the end, Dan. We did it. There was a story. Yeah, there was a story there. <laughs> we sure did it. We did it. We did it. How do we, so I'm very curious to discuss this here. Uh, how how are we feeling about this game now? I, we've had like a whole arc of like up and down on this <laughs> game in terms of expectation, in first impression, like where where are we feeling now? You know, it's it's kind of hard to place. I I feel like the the fun appeal of it was just seeing how many classes and how, how much it led into. And I think that was a big part of the enjoyment for me was like that, that sense of discovery we had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause like, I, I, you know, maybe maybe there's there's more to it on higher difficulties and stuff like that, but like the combat was not very satisfying for me. I, like it got the job done. It was interesting playing with the other classes, but I think once you like settle into a thing and you're like, "Oh, this is this is it." Like, yeah, which is totally fine. Uh, I just don't think the game really asks a lot out of you and maybe it does on higher difficulties and maybe there's like other challenges and stuff like that to do. Um, yeah, but it, yeah, it, it, interesting, interesting. I feel kind of kind of similarly. I, I definitely feel like for me, it was the same initial appeal of just like all these different jobs unlocking that did have surprisingly a wide range of 
nuance and experience playing that, that that felt tangibly very different. Like switching to a mage the first time, I was like, wow, this is very different way of playing. Right? This, yeah. Neat. And then keep continuing to unlock more and more jobs and find more and more weird, neat things that they can do. Like that. That continued being very cool uh, for basically the whole first half of the game. And like the story scenes, despite being like all of this artistically, aesthetically, cinematically, all of it being, it all feels very amateur. Like I, 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 I want to find a nicer ways to say it, but it just all feels very amateur in a lot of ways. Like it's still fun in a riff track sort of way to just watch and see like, oh, this silly goofy yeah. thing. <laughs> It's kind of, it's charming in that way in the same way that like Sonic games can be or just watching a like watching a bad movie and having fun with friends. And the co-op aspect of this, the fact that it does work generally so darn well and seamlessly compared to FromSoft stuff a lot of the time. Yeah. Also great. I, I was a big fan of that. That was very a nice pleasant surprise of how easy it was to hop in and out of each other's uh, games and it like saved like progression together as you did it and it wasn't like okay now yeah. we gotta we gotta do it on my end or you know like vice versa that that's definitely a huge plus yeah like i would not mind fromsoft taking a page out of this when it comes to like multiplayer uh like co-op play design stuff I, I can understand that not being a major priority for them and fair enough but like boy this does flow nice and easy it's very easy to play a game together with friends in this and i like that I do kind of feel similarly to you, like, the further this went on, though, like, I I do, I can definitely tell there is a lot of depth to this in terms of customization of your play style. Uh, there's so much mixing and matching you can do with so many different options. And I feel like I've hit a threshold of, like, how good I can get with this, with my current understanding of it, and that in order to get far past this i would need to invest a lot to fully understand all of these systems and how to play with them and how to use them and i don't think enough about the game either narratively or play interests me enough to make me want to really commit that time or attention to understand mm -hmm. like the combat is fun especially in a co-op romp but it like the level design is not interesting enough the enemy variety is not interesting enough. like none of the Moment-to-moment -moment combat is interesting enough to where I feel like I want to dive in deep in this and play hours and hours and hours more to fully tap into and understand all the depth that really is here and is really interesting. Uh, I, I know there's DLC, there's stuff that builds and expands on this. I expect the difficulty can go wild and that there is a whole lot more you can unlock and do. Um, but yeah, I, I think the more the novelty of the new jobs uh, and experimenting with them wore off, and the more the game started swinging toward putting more emphasis on its story, which is not its strength. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the more I started feeling like, all right, I'm feeling ready to be done with this one, I think. Same. Yeah. I will say one thing like that I kind of felt with just the game is like, so, so you have a bunch of these classes that have like really unique uh, characteristics and like, like, oh, okay, here's, here's this attack where you can you know, the Dark Knight where it was like, I'm going to slowly hurt myself over time and my attacks kill in. But like the the like time to kill and like amount of health you have as the player, like never felt like it was worth it doing any of those things. Because it was like mm -hmm. if, if something hits you like three times, like you're probably either out of health or dead, like. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I got to use one of my potions that you you kind of get plentiful potions um, throughout playing the game and you don't need to worry too much about like overspending. I think maybe like one or two missions. It was like, oh, shoot, I'm actually out of potions. Um, And it's just like. Part of me feels almost like cheap for using the breaker because or, or just like <laughs> the axe because it felt so it felt so wildly better. Um, yeah, like I, I would have loved to have that, like, because like when you play as a mage, it's like, okay, stand still for a bit and then hold this button so you can select your, your spell and the level of spell and you get it. And then you do like, I could, I could hold R1 for a, like half as long as you held the button to cast your spell and do more damage. Like, yeah, yeah. 
and not stand still. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I feel like that. That's me hitting a like a small, a temporary ceiling on like my understanding and knowledge of the game. Like I've seen people in comments who play a lot more of this game saying how like once you are kind of like understand how to use it and build it like the mage will one shot bosses it's just it's over it's like the most powerful thing hmm. or, or one of the mages is uh and that like it's it sounds like the breaker is one of those where like the strength of it sort of shows its face and is easy to tap into and understand like at a pretty early on phase and that a lot of the jobs not all of them but a lot of them have that potential uh once you've dug further in which is cool. Like the, when I say that I like don't have interest in really like getting any better at this game, it's mostly like I can I feel like this is not for me, but I can yeah. sense there's a lot of depth here that for like for the people who are getting way into it, I I get it. I can see the I can see the depth there that would make this appealing to somebody who's not me. And like that's and that's good. Like I I'm impressed by that aspect of the game still. Uh but it did feel like I do feel like playing solo uh at least in a lot of missions made me feel like I was it was pushing me more and forcing me to learn more, but it did feel telling to me that like, there are games, there are a lot of games of this sort that once a game starts pushing me, that challenge is when it starts getting interesting and I'm having to like, all right, I'm having to dig and I'm having to learn. Here we go. Like that becomes part of the fun. Whereas with this one, I was just sort of like, ah, do it, can I just, <laughs> Yeah. I'd like to yeah. just get through it actually. I'm, I'd, I'm really not here to commit a whole lot of time and understanding. I'd like to hit the thing with the ax. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like like getting getting the the classes to a point of like that, you know, one shot ability and stuff like that. Like my brain can only go to like, I guess you maybe go grind for specific gear drops and stuff like that. Um, I imagine some of the Yeah, that's got to be some of it. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things, too, of like, why? Why would I go do that when I can just like beat the boss with what I have now? You know, like, yeah, yeah. There's got to be higher difficulty stuff, especially with the DLC editions, I'm sure. I mean, yeah. Even without them, maybe now that we've beaten this and hit credits, maybe it'll unlock a whole bunch of like, all right, here, now the game begins <laughs> sort of like thing. Yeah, uh, I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd be curious. Like, I, I kind of want to mess around maybe on like my own time of just like seeing some of the higher difficulty stuff to see like, does it push me to that point of where I'm like, OK, I need to figure things out. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of curious. I could see myself dipping into it here and there for fun as well. Although, like, I do want to give it credit, though. I think you and I both expected this was not going to... When we were most engaged with it, when it was really grabbing us, that was a level of enjoyment of this I don't think either of us expected to have yeah. going into this. Totally, totally. Like This surpassed my expectations. Th that that kind of reveal of just, like, what the game is and, and hey, look at, look at all these future toys you have to play with was, like genuinely very fun yeah like i was it was always hard to stop each session early on like that mm -hmm. yeah very very good comfort game um of like if if folks out there are like oh i want to play like you know co-op souls and kind of like wind the day down like i could totally see like hanging out with buds just playing through like side missions and chatting and you know like you know like maybe eating snacks or drinks or something and just and just doing yeah. through a, a few little missions like this and um it, it was it was a good time we even did it like a few times after recording where we just played through a few side missions yeah just for fun just to like try to wrap our heads around systems a little better and how mechanics worked and like level jobs a bit it was really fun like especially because of the way they built it where a lot of it is gear dependent and you're getting gear drops with like affinity and things like that it it means that that's all the more reward and incentive for just screwing around and playing a little bit more with friends because you're going to get more stuff from it it's like that diablo appeal of like anytime you go in and play a bit you're going to get a little stronger and a little more and like there's actual ongoing progression every time you play uh which is cool like mm -hmm. yeah this is just playing the intro credit intro scene again yeah i'm wondering if it's going to do a thing a little bit differently or if we've just yeah looped around to the uh, intro scene one more time. I'm waiting for it. Me too.
It's funny, we were talking at the beginning about how, like, we were so curious as to, like, the behind the scenes of this, like, the people who make this know how goofy it is? Is it on, per how much of this is on purpose, or like, how much of this is, like, earnest, yeah, this is rad? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and I still feel like I don't entirely know. Yeah, yeah. It is a real goofy thing. Okay, all right. Now we're back in, <laughs> back in menu with a new toy. Lots of stuff. Should probably dismantle some things. It's unlocked a new side mission. That's fun. More side missions. Chaos difficulty has been unlocked. Yeah, yeah. All right. So yeah, there's there's more. <laughs> there's more. There's escalation of difficulty if you're wanting it. Cyclic warrior or cyclic warrior has been unlocked. Warrior of light equipment obtained his completion reward. Okay, so a new job. <laughs> the cyclic warrior wield the power of chaos. Cool. Fun. <laughs> Asto. Oh, okay. We can change Astos's appearance now. I was about to say, is the Astos a playable party member? No, no, just a <laughs> appearance changes. Got it. A lot of stuff unlocks when you beat story. Mm -hmm. New chapter added. Prologue. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> a lot of new things to play around with. But yeah, I, I feel like I feel like uh you and I are probably at a point where we're feeling ready to call this finale and done. Um, although, we did have fun with this, and it is a very fun co-op game. I could see down the road maybe you and I feeling sort of like a, you know, I'm feeling a little bit. Let's go back to that for a little bit more. Let's do a couple more episodes of that for funsies, see what more there is. Or if you dive into the end game, like, high difficulty stuff on your own time later and find, okay, no, actually, this rules. Dan, we need to go back in. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that, maybe that. So I, I, I won't rule it out. But I think for now, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling ready to maybe dabble in some other things. Yeah, I think I I feel the same. Yeah, I, I feel like that was a, a nice little chapter. Yeah. That, you know, maybe we'll come back to it. But I'm, I'm, pre I'm feeling pretty satisfied. Me too. All right, then. Well, thank you all ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this silliness as much as we have, which, again, is more than either of us expected. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pretty darned good time. Thank you, Dan, for joining me for this. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. And uh, I am excited for the things we plan to do next. So yes. please look forward to it, everyone. We'll see you next week for some more silliness. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.